Hey, Claire, why don't you start? You know, get started on a real first year. No, thanks. I only have time for coffee anyway. You had to work? Yeah, and uh, I wanted to do some Christmas shopping before my shift starts. Are you, uh, are you hitting the store solo or with Ben? Solo. It's easier to buy a gift for someone when they're not with you. Well, um, yeah, I'm going to take a shower. <clears throat> wow. Sierra, it's really not nice to talk about getting a present for Ben in front of Trip. You were the one who asked me if I was shopping with him, and you did it on purpose, Claire. Oh, get over yourself. Trip doesn't care what you do. He's not pining for you anymore. How could he when you're all over him 24-7? Come on, what do you care? You dumped him for a serial killer, remember? But you remind him of every single chance you get. Okay, you know what? Fine. Just go go buy a nice new necktie for your boyfriend. <laughs> I swear, Claire, I'm going to shove that burrito right up. Oh, a little jealous, are we? <laughs> Trip knows exactly how I like it. Oh, my God, Claire, grow up. Stop yelling. Kaylee just called. Your, your grandmother's in the hospital. Hey, what's wrong? Uh, it's not real. It was, um, it was a dream. Yeah, I mean, it must have been a bad one. I heard you screaming from all the way down the hall. What, what was it about? I lost Ariana. Gabby, you were, you were probably just remembering prison, okay? But that's, that's in the past. You will never be separated from Ari ever again. You can't be so sure of that. I am sure. Right, you never should have been locked up for a crime that Abigail committed in the first place. But look at me, that is over. You're home. And we are about to have a wonderful Christmas with our daughter. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I was just, it was really scary. I feel like I'm still shaking. Maybe you just need some food. So I'll, I'll get Ari and then we can all have breakfast together. Yeah, yeah, I'll be down in a minute. Mm-hmm. timetable when she might wake up. 